We are inside the 181st Street Station, independent subway station in Upper Manhattan, New York City. We have these three elevators here. And now, this video is dedicated to up and down adventures because he has provided me with a breadth of knowledge about these three elevators. Interestingly enough, these two are on separate controllers. That staffed. I think this one's coming up. Somebody must have pressed the call button already. More interested in this one first because that it's one a lot is bigger than the Otis. But it does have a Otis door track though. Oh, uh, the panels on this side go down the lower mezzanine. Here we go down. Are you coming up? We can fit, we can literally fit a, a compact car in here. We can literally fit a compact car in this thing. Given how large this elevator is. Street watch it level. It says UL and LL for the doors. But it's just like a street color as on the pictures. See, this is a very, very big elevator. Now that elevator on the left there has a, has a separate controller. So and same with that one, that's also on a separate controller. Now this is the original elevator at the 181st Street Station in Washington Heights up in Manhattan, New York City. This is the oldest of the three. That one's from around 2005 and that one's around 1998 installation dates. Um, this was Probably modernized at least twice. Probably from original was from the 20s and probably got modernized in the 70s and then Otis did some work on this in the late 1980s or something like that. JL Jet Plus fixtures up here, so which is, although that one has a different form of JL Jet Plus, and here's this elevator right here, right as I speak. Otisito on the door track. These are, this one is bottom driven, but the other two are top driven. And looks like we have company with us. You are Otis Interlocker there. Really got that thing padlock there. No for Got some uh, Lexan key switches. It's actually the oldest of the three elevators in the station. 
one at 190 Street is very similar to the setup at 190 is very similar to these. So elevator 119. I can this elevator recently got fined by the MTA. And the doors are closing. You're pretty sure this is a bottom driven, but and the other two are top driven. Um, I'm gonna take a look up the hoistway just to verify once we get up to the street. Here we are the street. The ground on me. We got some pre-door right there. I think. I don't even know where the machine is. Oh wait, I do see some steel girders where the machine mounts on. Let's go down. And I do faintly hear a uh, motor generator from, from above, so as you can tell, no floor indicator on this one. Door. Not, you can't notice it easily down here, but it's more noticeable on the street level. You got your wheel sight door closer right there. See, the MTA does take care of this elevator quite a bit. Here we are up at the street and we come to a nice smooth stop. Making sure we go open. No sailors on the track down there. As you can tell, we have a lot of company with us. Go. Capacity is 10,000 pounds. I don't know what that speaker is for, but. So, number 119. Here we are back down to Chesney. Again, it does say Otis on the track, so. And the other two elevators have identical door sills, but they don't say Otis on the track. Go to the elevator is a big station. There's your intercom emergency phone right there. Yeah, look how big this elevator is. 